good morning lifers good morning and welcome to the channel today this is a teacher's life Dunkin Donuts hello can I get a sausage bacon egg and cheese a sausage egg and cheese on croissant and a bottle of water you have um, onion bagels what um, kind of cream cheese do you have? At the moment, I just have regular veggies. Okay, that's okay. Just the sandwich and the water. Thank you. Okay, so let me just give y'all a little update on what's going on. <clears throat> so, hey, family. Yes, it's me, Tony. And welcome back to this perfectly imperfect life. So... It's summertime, y'all. And usually when teachers talk about summertime, they talk about how they are relaxing or getting ready for the upcoming school year. Well, your girl here, when you're on leadership or have a leadership role or working towards leadership, things are a little different for how you spend your summer. So... I'm on several leadership groups at my school, and one is the testing team. And so we had summer school, which lasted um, three weeks, the beginning of the month of June, um, three weeks, uh, the last week of May, and the first two weeks of June. And so this week is testing week for the students who were in summer school. So, because I'm part of the testing team, I have to go in on my summer break and help administer the test. But, I'm okay um, with it because it's just all a part of the process of moving along in what we get done. So, hold on. Okay, so, now that I have my Dunkin' Donuts, which I usually don't go to Dunkin' Donuts, y'all. Let me tell y'all. I, um, so I'm not really a Dunkin' Donuts person because I don't drink coffee or any of those kind of things. So for me, it doesn't really, um, it really doesn't make sense for me to go to Dunkin' Donuts. Usually I go to Quick Trip because I get the sandwich and the water. So I use my cup and I get the soft ice and I get my sandwich and my water. Um, but when I'm being a little bit lazy, if I'm honest. Sorry, y'all. If I'm being honest, when I'm being a little bit lazy, and I don't know what's going on, why it's shaking and doing all this craziness, but when I'm being a little bit lazy, I go to Dunkin' Donuts. That way I can get my sandwich from the drive through and I can keep it pushing. So, that's why we went to Dunkin' Donuts this morning. So, I got my sandwich and I got my bottle of water, and now I'm on my way. Um, but... Um, I wanted to update y'all on the teacher portion of my content because, as you all know, last year I came and I said that I was going to do more teacher um, stuff on my videos and just as part of my content, but um, my school doesn't really um, allow for testing. And when I mean allow for, I, doesn't, I don't mean that they I mean, allow for taping or videoing. And what I mean by that is not that they um, say no directly. What happened was that I was just so busy with my leadership roles at my school that I just did not have time. But I promise you guys, this year is going to be a different year. Now that I kind of have a handle on what my role is even though it's changing and i'm going to explain that as well um changing again i do have a handle on being department chair at my school um being kind of the next go-to person for the testing committee those kind of things um and because of that because of me having a a better handle on that I'm able I'm gonna be able to do a lot more things this year so this year is kind of crazy I am still the department chair at my school department chair of exceptional education 
which runs a whole lot differently than other departments. I have 225 students in my department, 32 adults um, that are under me. And so, yes, it's a hectic situation and it's a lot to manage in one, but I love it, love it, love it. And what I learned this year is that you can't make everybody happy. You, I, I worked really hard to kind of put together a cohesive um, department. And no matter what I did, there were always pockets of people who were not happy or satisfied. And I had to realize this summer that that's okay because everybody is not ever going to be happy with what you do, got going on, put into place. So I'm okay with that. Um, but I did, um, maybe a week ago, apply for an LTC position. And what that means is lead teacher of compliance. In my department, it's the LTSE, and I applied for that during the year, but I did not. Um, for whatever reason, they decided that they were no longer going to um, going to make recommendations for employment for that position for the year because it was kind of Aprilish, and they were like they weren't doing any more for the year. Um, so in another county, it's called an LTC, Lead Teacher of Compliance. And uh, I apply for that. So I'm waiting to hear for that. But, you know, in the meanwhile, I have leadership positions at my school currently. And so I'm staying focused on doing what I need to do for my current job. That way, if for some reason I don't get it, which I'm going to stay positive because everything is in God's time and not in mine. But if for some reason I don't get the position, I'm not behind on what I need to do to be current in the position that I'm in now. So, on the way to my school to do testing. And I will um, show you video from my school. So today is Tuesday. I'm in my school and I'm actually on my way up to my old office, but I figured I would walk you through. They are waxing the floors and repainting. So that's super exciting because it's been a couple of years since they've done that. But um, I need to go and get something out of my old office. Let me show you what the hall looks like because it actually looks gorgeous. The floors and everything look amazing. So here goes the floors. They are nicely waxed. Everything is clean. And this is actually my old office. Um, I shared it with two other people, three other people. My office is back here. I'm not sure if they went in and waxed it yet. But this is what my office looks like. They moved this in here, which didn't go in there. And they put my stuff up. 
There's the computer. And it's fine that they put that up there because I'm actually changing rooms. And then this was our storage closet. And three of us. Sorry, the light was so bad. But three of us stored our stuff in here. And so this is items that belong to three of us. But I am moving. Okay. So I am moving to another office. Let me show you where that is going to be. So this is my bookshelf. As you see, I asked for it to be moved. They haven't had time to move furniture yet, but it's okay. So I did ask for my furniture to be moved to my new room. And let me take you and show you what my new room is. Okay, so I'm changing offices and I was on the second floor and now I'm going to be on the first floor. So I'm going to show you where I'm moving to. It's not that far. But my school is huge. So I will be working with the 3DE program and we have our own hall. Look at these floors glistening. I just love the fact that they redid the floors. They did them in all the hallways and all the rooms. So my LTSE's office is all the way down there, but she'll be moving closer to where I will be. All of these classrooms are going to be 3DE rooms. So this is my language arts co-teacher's room. computer in the back so we're gonna have to change some things around for him but that's not a problem because he likes to have his desk in the front but this is my language arts co-teachers room this year I'm going to be supporting all four subjects so that's going to be interesting for me but you know we'll get it done and then this room is going to be my room So this is going to be my room, and these are my stuff. My co-teacher was so, so, so wonderful enough to have my stuff moved at the end of the year. I had um, a death in the family and had to leave, so he had all of my items moved from my old room. I'm loving for that. So there goes my stuff. The desk is going to be removed. Um, because we're going to be using, we're going to be using tables in here. This is the old teacher's stuff all across here. Those are her items. And those items um, will be removed from out the room. As you can see, I already started with my um, flexible seating. My desk is over here. With the Promethean board. Well, those are the new boards, the touch boards. And then the rest of my items are actually behind these tape covers that I have moved. Some of the stuff that's, um, that I moved from the classrooms. And then I still have a bunch of items that are in the office. But this is the first look at my new classroom. So I have a long board. That will go across there. I have this dry erase board up here. And then I have this board down here, which belongs to me, that they just put down on the floor, but that's fine. And then I have two sides and the board over here. So I'm excited I will have all of this wonderful, amazing space. 
and I'll be able to do pullouts and meet with my students and just help help motivate them. So that is the plan. Now I just have to find time to sit in the space for a little while so that I can get a vision of what I want to do. I do know that I want it to kind of be a cafe kind of setting. So I just have to figure that out in my mind. Figure that out, so. There we go. I'm going to take a couple of pictures. And I'll be here all this week, so um, probably Thursday I'll bring my measuring tape and start taking some measurements. But I'm thinking about breaking it up into quadrants and subjects. So I'll be um, covering all four subjects. But this first board here can be my um, language arts math, and then I'll do science and social studies on this side. It's kind of what I'm thinking. And then I can use the front boards because I still like to write. I'm a little old school. I like to write on the board, and I can use that board for that. And I'm going to put the standards up and just decorate. Everybody hates the gray. I love the gray, so I'm going to leave my room gray. But that's it. And then my LTSA is moving to this office here. My assistant principal will be in this office. So I'm really kind of excited. And then the LTSC teachers, I meant um, the 3DE teachers. And I'll actually sit down um, later on and tell you what 3DE is. But the 3DE teachers in the business office person. This is the business office um, for 3DE. And then this is the 3DE um, academic support room. And then, like I said, my assistant principal will be right there. Oh, I'm excited about this upcoming year. Um, I will give you some updates later on today about what's going on with my summer, but this is my school. This is my school. So. Girl, yeah, that's a good right. question. All right. Oh, All right, so this is what this year? is my world right now. What year? I don't know. What year is it? I don't know. You don't know what year your car? That's a shame. Oh, my God. GMC, what kind of car is it? Uh, Arcadia Denali. They got an owner's manual. Look, look, see? Told you, told you, see? This, this Denali battery. Okay, family, so I'm at home. Um, I, in the previous video, or the previous segment, you would have seen me walk through my school. So there were some things that I did want to update you on. And I didn't want to do it at the school, but so um, the first thing is Next year, as part of um, my school, we've decided to go to small learning communities, SLCs. And so I've been chosen to work in the 3DE um, SLC. And what 3DE is, um, it actually stemmed from the Junior Achievers, ju junior achievers program. And so it's a whole school within a school kind of program. And... In throughout the content, students wait. Students work on um, case-based scenarios, and um, most of them are in business and entrepreneurialism. I think that's right, um, or in um, or in engineering. So they work through scenarios, and they go visit different businesses and organizations. And that's how they work out the curriculum. And the case studies are actually intertwined into the curriculum. So in math, you'll see the case, the students will see the case study and it'll be introduced to them. And they'll use the elements of the curriculum um, through the standards. But they'll make sure that they incorporate um, whatever, whatever case study that 
they had to um, they have to work on for that quarter. So I went to three DE training um, last week, Thursday and Friday. It was amazing. They did it in um, station a station type way where we were able to work with um, different schools who will also be doing three DE within our county so that was good we did a uh, gallery walk we jotted down ideas of how we felt like we can incorporate it into our classroom um, based on our first three case-based scenarios and different um, tasks that we can do with them to help them um, be able to introduce or be able to develop the information for the case so we did a gallery walk on that and I was able to see how other teachers in the different subjects um, think or ideas and tasks that they can um, incorporate. Now, a couple, uh, one of the things that will be really weird for me in, um, in this 3DE process is for the past four years that I have been at my school, I have been... Um, ninth grade lit composition teacher, uh, co-teacher. So I am a special education teacher. And so I have been co-teaching with the ninth grade lit teacher. And it has been an amazing, phenomenal, phenomenal experience. He is an amazing co-teacher and we just work really well together. However, uh, with the 3DE, they only use ninth graders. They start out with ninth graders, a ninth grade cohort. Um, and it's 150 to 170 students. So with that being said, it's a smaller population of special education students or exceptional education students that um, will be in the program, which means I am the only um, exceptional education teacher that will be supporting the students the ninth graders in the 3DE. And that means that for me, I will have to um, be able to help them for all three, all four, I'm sorry, all four core subjects. And how the schedule is being laid out is there'll be two cores, um, two cores in the fall semester and then two cores in the spring semester. And I will be in the classroom with um, those students and do pullouts and do um, make sure that they get their accommodations in all four preps. So that's gonna be new to me. Um, math is not my strength, but the good thing that I have is that the team that I'll be working with are four amazing dynamic um, teachers who I am um, friends with so as long as I go in bringing my strengths which is accommodations making sure that I'm helping students then the core the preps that I don't that I'm not as strong with which is math um, I feel like we'll be able to kind of bounce off of each other with that and so I will I showed you earlier that I'm moving from my office because I will still be the um, department chair for exceptional education, but I no longer need the office because I will have my own pullout classroom to be able to bring those students to. And I wanted to consolidate all of my things. The past couple of years, I had my, um, my co-classroom with my co-teacher. I had my office and then I had another space because I was I had um I had a small group class. So I had three separate spaces and I just wanted to kind of get all of my things into one space. And I'm sorry y'all I'm extremely hot. It's another year that my air conditioning in my house is out. And if anybody knows anything about Georgia it's hot right now. We're kind of at 90 something degrees, but that's neither here nor there. So this is a testing week and I've been up at the school helping with um, summer ELC testing for students that may have missed it um, in the spring semester as well as the summer school students. So we are day two into that today. So we're day two into that process. Okay, so here's the other part 
um, where I'm kind of, I've been planning for my 3DE and for what next year is going to look like. However, I have, um, last week I actually went on an interview for, um, lead teacher of compliance position, um, which is an out of the classroom position that just monitors, um, teachers, students exceptional education program within a school, but I will be working directly for the district within the schools. So I did apply for that and it went really, really well. Um, also, I have a couple of people who are in that county who recommended me, so I'm hoping that helped as well, but they told me that it would be about two weeks or so before they completely finish all of their interviews and all of their recommendations because of summer their um individuals are going in and out of summer break um summer vacation so it would be about two weeks before i would hear back so because of that i want to make sure that i'm maintaining the position that i have um and, and preparing just in case because if for some reason let me take that back. So when I get the position, I will be able to recommend someone for my 3DE spots um, from my exceptional education department, but I'll also be able to pass down all of the resources that I've kind of put together over this summer for them so that they're not starting from scratch. Um, and then on the other end of it, I'm also preparing for the LTC position um, so that when I get it, I'm not kind of um, working backwards and rushing to get things done. So that's what's going on. Um, it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I have not eaten. I'm starving. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out something for me to eat. And then I want to do um, some behavior task cards. And I want to do two sets of behavior task cards. We have a behavior checklist that I use for the exceptional education students in high school. But I want to put together a set of behavior task cards um, for my LTC position so that I'll have those to utilize. And either way, I feel like if for some reason I don't get the position, which I'm going to speak it into existence and be positive about it. Um, but if for some reason I don't get the position, I do want to move up eventually. And it is the next um, stage in my evolution in as far as special education. Um, I thought about it long and hard this past month. My principal in our leaderships, he kind of was like, um, well, what do you what do you want to do? What are your goals? And I really didn't have a, a projection of... Um, what I wanted to do and so I sat down and I really thought about what my skills are what I'm good at what I've done for the past couple of years and it's always been special education it's always been exceptional education working with students who are at need and I just love that population so I've decided that that is what I'm going to focus my energy on so what that means for me I am currently a department chair in a high school for um, exceptional education and the next that would be LTSE or LTC, Lead Teacher of Special Education or Lead Teacher of Compliance, depending on what district you're in. Um, and uh, and then the next would kind of be like director or coordinator. So that's the direction that I've decided that I wanted to go in for my um, um, for my career which means that I need to go back to school for leadership, one. But now I have a direction because I thought I was going to go back for um, assistant principal. And it's not really, that's not really where my niche is. So I'm glad that I took the time to kind of reflect and see where I've been and what I've been doing. And so now I'm going to go and find me a program that... I can go ahead and do special education and curriculum because those kind of go hand in hand um, with each other. And so, yeah, that's what I have going on right now. So, 
that's um, it for today. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of clips of my task cards, where I get them from, and what I do with them. So, stay tuned for that. Okay, so this is how I'm starting my day. Today is the last day of the work week. It's Thursday, and <clears throat> it's been a lot going on all week. But I will catch you up as soon as I get to the school. Okay, so today I will simply be at the school. I did not get a chance to vlog what went on. But, um, so today we finished up EOC testing for the summer. We also, um, I also was inputting names and addresses, Excel, for our 3DE program. We have 170 students that are, um, that we've enrolled in the program. So I was getting the information for that off from Infinite Campus. And then planning for our summer bridge program, which summer bridge for my school is um, July 15th through the 18th. And what summer bridge is um, a vertical alignment coordinator between the middle school and the high school. So we have a program during the summer for one week where the middle schoolers come up to the high school and become acclimated with the school and kind of get their infinite campus login and just meet some of the teachers that they'll have um, that they'll have when they come in August. So I was getting the plans together for the summer bridge program as well. And now I'm home. Um, I told you all about my um, interview with another county. So I got a call back on yesterday from um, the coordinator from that county and you know she said they did a great job they wanted to do a second interview because the principal of the school who they're interested in me te um, interested in me being LTC at was not there and they just want me to go in and kind of sit down and interview with the principal so that's my day and now I'm going my husband we're going to do a drive-by of the school so that I can see where I'm going on my Okay, family, so this is Friday. Turn it down. Today is Friday. It's the last day of the week I actually had to spend at my school. I'm going to go and meet up with an old co-worker for lunch. Um, and then go home and organize my home, edit a couple of videos. And just prepare for my second interview on Monday. So, yes, I don't know if um, yesterday's vlog I talked about it. But um, last week I went and interviewed at another county and I was waiting to hear back. So, I did get a call back and I have a second interview to meet with the principal specifically. The friend that I'm sitting down for lunch with is really close with the people in the district that I interviewed at. So, she told me that... Um, I kind of blew the interview out the water. It was great. So I was excited about that because interviews kind of make me real nervous. And I was like, are you sure they're talking about the interview they had with me? And she was like, yeah, they're talking highly of you. And I was excited about that. And um, so I got the call back from the district. The principal was not able to sit in on the interview. So they want me to go to the actual school and do a sit down with the principal and the lady was like don't worry you know just do what you did at the first interview and you'll be awesome you know don't be nervous da, da, da. so I was like okay so I'm gonna go home and just read up on the school I already kind of did a drive-by so that I knew exactly where I was going 
what the school looked like. I did that on yesterday. Um, and so today, like I said, I'm going to just look up some background information on the school, kind of like the statistics, the population, so that I'll know what type of school it is, what the principal is kind of um, looking for. But, you know, every principal has a specific vision for their school, but I do want to make sure that I have some background knowledge. So that's what I'm going to do and then figure out what I'm going to wear to this second interview. Um, because a few of the people that were at the first interview will be there. So I don't want to wear the same thing. And yeah, it's going to be hot. So I'm like, do I put on a jacket? You know, all of those kind of preliminary things that you're not sure. I don't know. I'm just second guessing. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to do what I do because I know the information. I know what I know. And I'm not going to. I'm going to try not to be nervous and just give it over to God and let him um, guide my steps in this process. So that's pretty much what I'm going to have going on this weekend. And that's it. So, yeah, I'm excited for my next. I'm excited for all the things that I have coming up. And... I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Um, so if you like um, kind of seeing what I'm going through as a teacher on summer break, comment down below so that I know that you would like me to do more of these videos. Um, just, you know, throw kind of like a thumbs up or something like that. And then I'll keep, I'll keep posting. And then I'll go ahead and continue to post throughout the school year and I'll take you on my journey with me but as always I just want to thank you all for watching make each and every day amazing love you guys for now talk to you later bye